Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Garage. Today we are going to replace a PCV valve. It's a super easy change. Uh, there's quite a few tutorials online. Uh, but anyways, here's another one. It's Again, it's super easy. This one's on a 350 uh, crate motor on a 1984 GMC Jimmy, which should be pretty similar to any 350 that you find in the 80s uh, into the 90s. Not pretty typical, but uh, let's get to it pretty quick. So what we're looking at is the vacuum diagram for this motor. So it's our Chevy 350. Um, and a lot of these vacuum diagrams are right here in the engine bay um, from the 80s up. And as you can see, uh, if you need to find your PCV valve, it is right here. Uh, it kind of gives you a, a close estimate of where it should sit within the engine bay. Um, but anyways, easiest way to find it is to get down to your uh, canister which if we follow the diagram is right there so we'll come back here and we, what we want to do is follow the rightmost uh, blue pipe basically up to our PCV valve so we will uh, we'll go over here and take a look at our rightmost line uh, and it's our large line coming up so we're still following and tracing there it is, and it dives right down into the valve. Can't get much closer than that right now, but uh, what I'll do is see if I can ninja this in there. There it is, sitting right there on top of the motor. This little gray chunk right there by those T wires. Uh, what I'll do is reposition the camera, get in a little closer, and we'll uh, I'll show you how to take it out and put a new one in. Okay, so again. Uh, rightmost side of your canister, follow the large line that we had originally traced up to PCV valve, which is this guy right here on top of your uh, valve cover. And all you do, I've loosened up a little bit already, but you just grab it, wiggle it, pops out, and there it is. So to replace this, all you do is disconnect your vacuum lines, make sure you have the exact same one, uh, and put in a new PCV valve. Uh, recommended replacements every 25 to 40,000 miles. Um, and then just obviously hook your vacuum lines back up. And then push that little guy right back down inside the engine. There we go. Make sure it's seated. There's a little rubber grommet. Make sure the rubber grommet's not torn. Uh, when you have it out, make sure you're not dropping debris and dirt and all that kind of stuff down in your engine. But uh, there you go. That's pretty easy. Uh, hope you guys liked it. I'll have a bunch more stuff coming up. Like, subscribe, check out my other uh, my other channel.